thought I would do my intro right here. Got a beautiful rock wall behind me, but I'm in an area I've been in before. You guys might recognize it. And I'm here in search of the Eastern Blackneck Garter Snake once again. Still have yet to find one. Um, I did spot a ribbon snake, didn't get it on camera. Um, beautiful little ribbon snake, but yeah, no Eastern Blackneck yet. So I'm here in hopes of finding one today. It's cooled off a lot in the last couple days. It was actually 60 something degrees when I woke up this morning, but it's up to about, I think 70 now. So it should be a good temperature. So you might see some snakes come out, coming out and basking. And that's the main snake I'd like to see. There are some other cool snakes here that we can see today and other animals, obviously. Oh, there's a little scorpion. Something to note for anybody who's kind of a novice herper is to always put things back when you lift them, rocks, boards, anything like that. It's important to keep the ecosystem intact, keep the animals around, because uh, chances are somebody's using that as a home. So it's important to always put it back, even if there's nothing under it at the time you lift it. Beautiful habitat. No snakes yet, but can't uh, can't deny the beauty. This is actually really cool. This is a massive fallen oak tree. Well, not fallen, but it's like sideways on this trail right here, hanging over top. I mean, it looks pretty sturdy, right? We don't have to worry. Maybe. Hope not. So this is the board I was talking about that I lifted with the centipede under it. Um, it's actually big hunk of metal let's lift it i haven't been here in probably i mean without a doubt a few weeks so maybe something's uh taking up residence in here let's check it out no centipedes today i believe i forgot to mention it but i am in uh central texas again today near home and in case anyone's new here i did move here recently um, I believe I mentioned it in the past, but I just wanted to make sure you guys are uh, up to date with everything. So, I'm out here looking now. No snakes yet, but I'm going to keep looking. And yeah, I appreciate you guys being here with me. If you're new, you're more than welcome to subscribe and follow along. We go out weekly looking for cool herbs and whatnot. Snakes, amphibians, lizards, and the whole bit. So beautiful nature beautiful everything and come along for the adventure if you've been watching for a little bit you're no stranger to these tiny toads they are everywhere today everywhere i walk very tiny ones they grow up and a lot of them have this bright red color this one will probably be one of those because you can see some reddish on them now yeah there's no shortage of these guys so just wanted to show you them real quick and then we're going to keep walking see what else we can come across yeah, he's getting absolutely destroyed by red ants right now. Uh, fire ants. Very pretty moths. Nice pinks and greens. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he's lasting. He's still alive, but not, not by much. The only reason I even saw him is because his wings were fluttering here. It's a cool find, though. Let's see if we can find some herbs. Guys, this is just awesome. I just opened this, or lifted this rock right here. And I found a beautiful tarantula i believe this is a texas brown and if you see right there that's its molt next to it there's the spider it looks like a young young adult female or possibly sub-adult male but i think that's a female so cool look at that burrow too i'm also a big uh bug invert lover so these guys are really cool. It's pretty good size too, as you can see. Let's see if I can get her out here for a closer look. Hello. I'm sorry. You're so pretty. You're so 
so pretty. Wow. I'm going to grab some pictures of her real quick here, and then we're going to keep moving on this trail. Here is one last look at this tarantula. I kid you not, I just lifted a, another rock right next to that tarantula, <laughs> and there's a massive giant desert centipede. Dude, that is just awesome. This is why I love Texas, guys. Look at that guy. Wow. So pretty. I'm gonna grab some quick pitch, pictures of this one as well. Alright, so the centipede disappeared in this pile of, little pile of brush right here, but that was really cool. One rock after another. Tarantula and a centipede. Really cool. Well, I guess lifting rocks is the method here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have too much snake action going on. So I am retracing my path back down the trail and I'm gonna start heading back to the car. But we did see a large desert centipede and a tarantula, um, Texas brown tarantula. So that was pretty cool. As I said before, I love my inverts as well. So it's pretty exciting for me. You know, a lot of people don't care for inverts, especially like spiders and centipedes, but I'm a big fan. I have them at home as well. I have a few tarantulas, uh, and some scorpions, but yeah. Another tarantula. No way. Oh, that's so cool. I don't want to crush you, little buddy. Texas brown tarantula right here. Just found under this rock. Oh, scared him back in. Cool. Alright guys, well it doesn't look like are finding any herbs today. I did see a couple small ground skinks, uh, like newborn hatchlings. No snakes, and I don't know, uh, maybe maybe it's a little too cool out. Um, it did heat up a bit here. I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty good weather, but you know, sometimes you just don't see things. That's just how herping is. Anybody who's been herping any amount of time knows that. Sometimes you find things when you don't expect it, and sometimes when you do expect to find things, you don't see anything. So that's just how it is, but I am happy we did get to see my first two Texas brown tarantulas and two, let's see, I got one on camera, the giant Texas centipede, and then I did see one other small one. So that was pretty cool for me, but for anybody who is, you know, hoping to see the herbs, we didn't see any this afternoon. I'll probably combine this with another clip that I will take pretty soon within the next few days here. We'll get out and try to get some uh, some herbs, and I gotta find that elusive eastern black neck garter snake because uh, that one's been tough for me to find. But yeah, hopefully we'll get our eastern black neck soon, and obviously I will keep you guys updated, and I uh, will see you in the I guess the next part of uh, this video.